Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh my God, we all got here bright and early. Yay. Yes. Um, so we've been having some AV challenges. All right. We had got so excited that we had a projector. Like, yeah, it's so great. And then we have no cords. Okay. So um, we're going to have some AV guys might come in from the hotel. They'll putz around in the back, see if they can make things happen. Uh, but if they don't, we're still fine because our speaker is well prepared for any eventuality, which is great. Uh, my name is Carrie Lannon. I'm uh, fortunate to be a co-member with Valerie in the South Loop Speak Freaks Club. I'll try saying that five times really fast, not easy. Um, first thing I want to let you know is you should turn off the sound on your phones, recording devices, TV cameras, whatever you may have brought with you. Please do that. And I'm going to pass out um, evaluation forms. And we kindly ask that before you leave today, that you fill these out and provide them back to us. Hi, are you Mr. AV person? Yes. Thank you. So <laughs> glad to meet you. Liz in the back um, you know, is going to see Liz right there. Can you go speak to her? Okay. Thank you. All right. So um, please fill these out. And we will collect them. Well, since there's only two of you, <laughs> oh, sorry. And we'll collect them at the end of the. Thank you so much. Extras, thank you. It takes a village, ladies and gentlemen, yes, to, get our, <laughs> to get our talk going. All right. So I want to make sure you're in the right room. If you're here to learn about social media from someone who is so passionate about the topic and a really dynamic speaker, you are in the right room. Are you in the right room? Right yes, room. I can Absolutely. tell you, you are. Absolutely. Valerie Smith, our presenter, has been a Toastmasters Club member at the South Blue Speak Freak since December 11, 2011. Her enthusiasm for learning and her discipline in going through the curriculum of Toastmasters has resulted in her growing into a dynamic leader and speaker. She currently serves in a leadership role within our club, but she is also the area director of Central North Division Area 23. That's a big role, so thank you, Valerie. Valerie really started using social media in 2010 with her own Facebook page, Power to Living for Day. She leveraged her experience with her first club officer's role with South Loop Speak Freaks Toastmasters Club as VP of Public Relations. She had that role for a year. We were very fortunate because she came in and started really enlivening our social media Facebook page. She created that, then went on to Twitter. She created the, um, the, 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 today our club has Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and Eventbrite. I think I got them all. The wide reach of the club through social media has resulted in us attracting members as well as guests from China, Australia, Poland, Africa, and the good old USA. We have a very wide reach with our club, thanks to Valerie. She uses engaging content to uh, attract guests and engage our current members. Things like club events, photos of what's going on, member recognition, quotes, things like that. So, You'll be really glad this morning if you're interested in social media, maybe for yourself, but also for the club to hear what Valerie has to say. The name of this uh, topic is Social Media 101. And with that, I would like to present, and it is my pleasure to present Valerie Smith, your speaker. everyone for coming. It is my privilege to be your presenter on Social Media 101, especially for the new launch of this new legacy. And so we have a Twitter account and it's called TM New Legacy Chicago. So what you want to do is if you do have a Twitter account, that's great. But even if you have a Facebook you can also hashtag. So in your in your um, power in your slides, we do have a Twitter handle. So you you want to write it down. 
So you want to, uh huh? Could you back up? Because I don't know if that's true in my Yeah, so, <laughs> that is, so, so, <laughs> so, hashtag is like a pound sign. Right. So, right. so if you have a pound sign on your, on your phone, you want to put that pound sign. And that pound sign, what happens is it, it, it attracts people back to your social media pages. So anytime you see a hashtag and then the name, whoever's posting about the new legacy, the launch of the new legacy, you can click on that hashtag and the name, and it'll take you back to everyone who's talking about our conference. All right. Yeah. So that's the great thing about hashtagging. So that's kind of like a link. The link. Yes. Yes. Yay. <laughs> yes. So it's going to, so it's going to be hashtag the pound sign T M New Legacy C H I short for Chicago. So repeat that. <coughs> okay. Hashtag. Hashtag T M. New Legacy C H I. Short for Shy. It's it's done here. It and it's right on your it's on your yeah. hand. Under the well. picture under mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now, let me ask, does it matter upper or lower case? It doesn't. Doesn't matter. No, just like in it. the internet. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. So this is all about mm -hmm. just putting it out there and letting everybody know about this great legacy. Mm -hmm. So I want to welcome you all here because I know that today's society is using social media. Yes. You have many challenges. Now how many of you do have challenges when you're using social media? <laughs> well you're in the right place. You are in the right place. But the great thing about social media is easy to learn. It's easy to learn. You have to take your time. For myself, I didn't know anything about Facebook. My friends got me on Facebook, learning how to do Facebook pages. It's, you have to jump in. There's no perfect strategy. There's no, nothing in the clouds that's going to come down <laughs> and say, come on. You just got to do it, just like Nike says it. So in your packet, you could just, you know, that'd be like your, your reference. But what I'm going to talk about is how to uh, build great content. The do's and the don'ts, those are very important. And then also, how to save time when you're posting your social media on your Facebook page. And you're going to learn some tips on how to publish and save a lot of time. The first thing we want to talk about is creating content. When you're creating content, you want to think about what is going to attract your audience. You want to attract new guests. You want to engage in your members because our members, they want to be engaged. They want to stay with your club. If you're not engaging, they leave. So with social media, you want to think about <coughs> building content such as articles. Now you don't have to write the article. You can find a great article that talks about Toastmasters that talks about communication skills, leadership, photos. What photos are you taking in your club? Do you have a new, uh, new guest that's giving, you know, that wants to know a little bit more about Toastmasters? So you want to show people, we have guests that come to our club meetings, or maybe it's an icebreaker speech. We want to give recognition to those who are in our club. If you have a video, a video says a lot of things because one, you're active, you're engaged. And then also when you're posting the words, those words are very important. When, as what they said, <clears throat> pictures said a million things, so do words. Those words are very, they have to be captivating to the people when they're looking at your uh, Facebook page. Now when you're building that content, what are you building that content around? There are several things that you can build content around. It can be your club meetings, because club meetings are, not, you know, it, some people think, oh, it's just a meeting. Look at your meetings as an event. 
Someone's giving a presentation. So you want to want to show that. And then you have what we call club events. How many of you are having an open house soon? Open houses are very important. You really want to have your VP of PR there, taking those pictures, doing that video. How about your membership drive? You have to have a membership drive. In June, of what I heard, Toastmasters Leadership Institute is coming up. You want to make sure whoever your new club officers are, that they get trained. You want to post that on your social media. And then also this great event, which is our 2017, the new launch of a new legacy. Now, what I want to show you is how engaging content can be. Can be. So do we have this here up and running yet? I'm not worried because I get the video on the laptop. Okay. <laughs> I, there is no way. I was not going to show you this video. This video, how many of you know LaShonda Milton? Mm -hmm. LaShonda Milton oh, is so yeah. active. She has a lot of energy. We have a Facebook page. South Loop Speak Freaks have a Facebook page. This content attracted so many people. And I'm going to get three people and probably give me a number of how many you think, how many people you think reached this video. This is 2016 Spring on. Conference, mm. the opening, and she's reciting the mission statement. I should put it on a chair. Should I put it on a chair? Because that way we can see it. In the, I can. Yeah, the people in the back can see it. So. Right, right, right in the middle. Right there, and you just, yes, that'll work. <laughs> she, her energy was so, was so lively. Yeah. I mean, when you go to a business meeting, all you think about is, okay, it's going to be a lot of voting. But when she got up there and got everybody riled up, ready to go, she was ready to go. And so how many people you think she reached when we posted that? No, like between, I say between one and two hundred. How many? Do you think? I'd probably say more like the range of about thirty thousand. <laughs> Anybody else? I don't. One hundred and forty-seven people uh -huh. organically. Okay. Okay. So organically, she had one hundred and forty-seven people look at that video. We didn't have to pay to get that video looked at right. because one. It's engaging content. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're thinking about what kind of content do I want to engage out there in the elements? Because there's a lot of people who do not know how to post on social media. So the do's and the don'ts. Let's talk about that. When we want to be professional. We don't want to offend people when we're posting on Facebook. We want to use professional language. Because when we're speaking as Toastmasters, we are told not to use filler words, you know. Yes. But in our content, we want to be professional as possible. We want to talk Toastmasters. You are a brand. You're representing a brand. Toastmasters work very hard in having that brand and that slogan, where leaders are made. Also, politics, no politics. I don't care if it's talking to, around certain things about communication. You want your, your communications to be clean. No politics, no offensive language, none of that. You want to concentrate on leadership development. You want to talk about mentorship. You want to share great information 
about how they can grow as a speaker. So all those different type of um, content really not only builds your members, but it also builds the club. This is how you're going to attract more members. If you don't have engaging content, guess what? You can have a Facebook page. You can have many followers, but they're not going to come to your club. They're not. They're just going to look at your posts, and that's about it. So what you want to do is you want to keep creating that great content. Now the next thing that you want to do as well is that when you're um, creating content, it's like, how broad do you want to go? And that's where you have Facebook, and then you have Twitter. Well, we'll talk about that later. But what we want to talk about right now is how can you save time? Now, I do want you to look at your slides because that's very important. Uh, <coughs> the slides here is giving you the step-by-step -step on how to publish. And when you are publishing, it's going to save you a lot of time. So how many here have a Facebook page for their club? Okay, great. So we got a couple people here. Now, there, how many do you use that use publishing tools on Facebook page? You don't? You do? Yes. Okay, great. So when you're on your Facebook page, there's a tab in the upper, probably like upper left corner, and it says publishing tool. What you want to do is when you go onto your Facebook page, you click on that publishing tool. And when you click on that publishing tool, it's going to bring up a box. The most important thing is on your left-hand side of that panel, it's going to say schedule posts. Now, how many of you go to Starbucks? And how long do you stay at Starbucks? <laughs> About an hour? So if you have an hour, you can drink Starbucks, you can go on your Facebook page, you click on that publishing tool, and then your scheduling tool. At the top, which we should start talking about, we talked about content. Your content is right up there. It says photos, it says video. You can add articles, links within that, that box. You start typing in your content in that box. So you'll see on page four, the slide on your right at the top, this is where you're going to start typing in your content. And if you want to add a photo, you just click on photo and you attach it. The great thing is you don't have to post it right now. You can schedule it for a future date. So that's a great thing. So if you don't have, you don't want nothing to be posted until the event or before a couple days before the event, you can do that. Or it can just be regular posts because it's going to be engaging. So after you have written all your information for that game, what you want to do is they have a tab here that says schedule. So when you click on schedule, a box is going to appear. You just set your time, you set your date, and what you want your post to post onto Facebook. And it feels good, because why? You spent an hour of your time scheduling your post, didn't use those tools before, and then now you can go about your everyday life in that month and see your post show up on Facebook. And then, you know what, the, the, just the, the drawback on that is the great thing about posting in advance is that your members, your guests, are trying to figure out how did you create all that time posting on Facebook? Do they have a life? What? They don't know the secret to publishing. <laughs> and then if you have a great VP of PR, that's a great thing. So you want to use these publishing tools. It saves you a lot of time. And then, and then if you have a you know, full-time job, it works for you. Now another bonus that I want to add there, because 
I know that you know time is you know it's like very crunch, and we'll probably go over just a little bit because we did start um, a little bit over a, a little bit time. But what I want to show you is that Twitter, because that's a bonus. Twitter is a great avenue to have. Now I do tell people that everybody's not coming to your club. It's a large audience, but you can gain a lot of members, new members, and great guests to come to your club. And like Kerry said, we did attract a lot of people. We attract people from Australia, and we got emails from Australia, Africa, you name it, a lot of countries contact our club. But the great thing is that you can link your Facebook page to your Twitter account. And on your slide, uh, is it on page five, the slide to your right at the top, there is a website. And that website leads you to, um, to link your Facebook page. So what you want to do is you follow those slides. And what happens is when you click on here, it's going to take you to a page. You want to make sure you're logged into your Facebook page. So when you do log in, you, you will see this here link, it will say link to Twitter. So you will click on that link, and now your Facebook is about to be merged to Twitter. And with Twitter, the thing I like about it is that 6,000 posts per second on Twitter. That is a lot. Yes, it is. And then not only that, 350,000 tweets <coughs> a minute. <coughs> so you have a large range of people that are watching your posts, depending on who's following you. But it takes time to build. So Twitter is a great avenue to have to make sure that your Facebook page is connected. And once you authorize it, you just keep, keep clicking and keep clicking. And you'll see, it'll say welcome, or it'll say you're, you're connected to Twitter. And you just start scheduling your posts. And every time you schedule a post, and it goes onto Facebook, it also goes onto Twitter. So that's the great thing. <laughs> so now that you know, I come to the end, I know that this is very lightning fast. But I want everybody to get into a group. It's going to be five minutes. I want you to think about the style of content you want to create, the type of content you want to create. And then um, there's a last one on here. And how many times you want to post? You can post twice a week, five times a month. Just think about that. So if you can get into maybe groups of three and just talk about it, it's going to be five minutes. And right behind your handout, there's a there's a group exercise uh, form. So if you can get together, um, our facilitator will time it for five minutes, and then I have three people come up and just give a one minute spill on on those three questions. Oh, this must be this. Okay, the time is up. I know. So, meeting, yeah. And membership. The time is now up. We need to get resuming again. Okay, we're yes. Membership drive. Membership is we are going to get you out of here on time. That's the good news. So, Valerie? All right, so I need three people. We're going to do a lightning round, 20 seconds each. If you can tell us like three things that you're going to do, we'll take home what you're going to do when you see here. So, if I can get three volunteers. Okay. Okay. All right, stand up in the front. He's like, he's really good. Okay. All right. And you stand. get 20 seconds, I'll time it. Stand. <laughs> stand up. Go.
Well, in terms of style, we want obviously professional content that's going to be beneficial and attract other members. So pulling off like from the uh, 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 Toastmasters magazine has a lot of great content. We can pull some of those articles and post those. Um, certainly table topics that uh, are videos, um, some of the best. We could put those up because they're nice and short. And, and time is up. <laughs> and then use the scheduler to do this all in advance so we get our content going out at least two or three times a week. Right, next. Okay, awesome. thank you. Okay, great. <laughs> <laughs> what I really wanted to do is really optimize the opportunity to uh, create some things that are organic and relevant to the group. And so some of those things were meeting notices, uh, simultaneous with Facebook and Twitter, <coughs> photos, articles, and then specifically award photos of contest winners, oh. guest speaker announcements, promotions pending, and then also those completions to really encourage people to stick with the program. Done. <laughs> 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 All right. We're gonna get one more. Yeah. Okay, stand up, please. Oh, no. yeah. Okay, so we said um, photos and videos, uh, maybe volunteer activities, um, contest champions, fun facts, uh, type of content. We're going to say about like, guest speakers, um, maybe TED Talks, or word of the day. Um, if you have like a special guest speaker that's coming, and then for um, how many times, twice a day. Okay. All right. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. All right. Well, I think everybody is on on the right road. I want you to take this great uh, this information back to your club. Start creating content, posting, and just come up with a uh, a schedule. Yes. Now we do have a bonus round for you. How many want to know about Meetup.com? What? Meetup.com. Meet All right. So I have Liz here. She's one of our District 30 uh, meetup uh, experts. She's going to give you a little bit of information about how it will benefit your club. All Welcome, right. Liz. I was very happy to see that many of you raised your hand that you wanted to know about meetup because a lot of people are like, what is meetup? So you do have slides in here. One of the great things is that it is a social group. So I'm going to go through this very fast to get you guys out of here on time. So if I'm talking too fast, I apologize. It's all in the slides. So how many of you know that District 30 has a meetup site? There is a District 30 meetup site. There is a link on your slide on page 7. In the corner, there is the link to the District 30. It tells you when every single one of our clubs has a meeting. And you get an email. So if you want to visit a club and be a club ambassador, you're going to be able to get the information. Ivan Ewart is the one who manages the District 30 meetup right now. They are going to figure out when we split how 103 has their own and 30, and they'll be using them differently. So what I want to tell you about is how to get the most out of meetup. So I work in my club. We have gotten, let me just tell you this, we have gotten 12 new members in the last six weeks just off meetup. Wow. Paid, paid members. Wow. wow. Whoa. 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 Well, I am the VP of membership for my club. <laughs> <laughs> so the most important thing to learn about meetup is you get what you put out, you get out of it what you put into it. So you do have to spend some time if you're going to actually get results from meetup. So if you're just going to sit there and say we have a meetup and, and post it, it doesn't help. Yeah. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is there's some tools. What I do is every single week I go in there and I look in the site, you can't see it very well, but it says members. I look to see every week who has joined off meetup because these are people just browsing for something to do. Wow. And I send a message to every single person that joins our meetup group and says, hey, our next thing is this and this. We'd love to see you there. Do you have questions about Toastmasters? Come and see me or just send me a message on meetup. Wow. Wow, that's, that's awesome. awesome. That's, that's awesome. Yeah. That's off the hook. Yes. So, and then. Do you get notices of, of when they join? So, once, twice a week, I get an email as an organizer of my meetup of when new members join. So, it goes directly to my email. But I also do check every single week to make sure that I have sent out a message to all new members individually that I just cut and paste from the previous one. Right. And in addition to that, I look for, uh, I do add a lot of photos, so the second circle is there. Like, we just had an open house in April, so I added a whole photo collage of everything in there, and took the same photo collage and linked my meetup.
to our area Facebook account so that everybody gets to see that. Now the biggest thing about Meetup is you can put it out there and everybody can see it. You could be searching. You don't know what people are searching for for it. So the best thing you can do is promote your Meetup. In order to promote your Meetup, announce your Meetup about five to six days prior to the event. So you can do that and everybody in your group gets an email and reminds them that you have another media, meeting to come up. So it's not just that they look on Meetup and get a notification, they're getting an individual email from me. It looks like it's individualized, but it's just a message that I create. So follow up with your members, make sure that you are enticing your members to come. Even members who came as guests and haven't come in a while, I'll look and say, oh, I haven't seen you in a while, how's it going? You know, we have another event coming up, please join us. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I'm sorry, it was really quick. If you have any questions, come see me afterwards okay. and I'll be sure to help you. I am going to be working with uh, District 30 um, to revamp their meetup site for next year. I do want to walk, um, you know, welcome any questions after you, you can wait for me outside. How, um, we're out of time? We oh, are, we've got time to collect the evaluations. Oh, if you would please fill those out, that would be great. I know we never get enough for Valerie. Oh, yes, I and, love it. Uh, I know Tim has something for you, Valerie. Oh, okay. Great. All right, uh, please present it to me. All right. On behalf of District 30, we would like to present you with this certificate. For a wall frame, a certificate of appreciation, and I believe it's a thank you card from the district or something else. Before we close, there's one more site that you can get video from that's the most underutilized one in the district. That's my website with about 500 plus videos of Toastmasters events from the last eight years. Let's again, that's timsvideo.com. See me after Let's give another hand to that. If you have any questions, just come right on up and uh, I can talk with you.